Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about switch port security. So this is really important feature of the switch. Now to let's, to let's state the idea, let us suppose that we are working in any organization and in that organization of course we have switches because these are the networking devices and the switches are, uh, are the devices where we use the connectors, RJ45 connector and we can connect with that switch and then we can use the networking resources of the organizations but from security point of view this is not a good situation that anyone is coming and that anyone can just plug in the cable there and they can use the organization's resources so in this situation we have an interesting feature in the switch that we can configure the port of the switches in a such a way that they can accept or they can reject frames coming from some specific host so for example in this case we have a switch and let's suppose that we are going to configure this port to accept the frames coming from this host it means the it means the frame whose source mac address is this so the port has been configured to accept the frames only from this host so in this case let's suppose that this user is sending the frame to the switch switch as per configuration will accept that frame and will process it and if needed that frame will be forwarded to the uh, destination but let's suppose that if some other user is coming in the organization and he is going to uh, connect the cable with that the same port and in that case if this user will send the frame and of course this frame will have a source mac address that will be different and now this will be the source mac address so so when this frame will reach at the port port will just reject it port will discard it because as per configuration the port is only allowed to accept the frame from the mac address which is on the left hand side so this is a really interesting feature now the question is how to configure this mac address so we can configure this mac address statically and we can also configure the port to dynamically learn the MAC address. So it will learn the MAC address and then this will that that MAC address will be used for decision making. So this is one of the feature of port security. And second, we also have uh, uh, information from the basic knowledge for of the switch. Then switches basically learn MAC addresses and then those switches actually save those all MAC addresses in the, in a MAC table so that when the next frame comes they can make decision that where to forward the frame so this is from the basics of the switch so let's suppose that if a hacker is coming so hacker can use different tricks or different techniques and then they can start filling up that mac table so that MAC table actually is saved in some memory that memory is known as content addressable memory. So the hacker can fill up the complete MAC table and we will not have more memory to fill in more MAC addresses there. For example, we have this MAC table and if the hacker is coming and he's going to fill up this MAC table in such a way that after some point there will not be any, any space for the new one. So in this case we call this is a cam overflow attack so it means content addressable memory attack so they are going to fill up this one and once this is filled the switch will not be giving us the optimum performance so in this case also we can use the switch port security and for that we can configure the ports to accept or to learn a maximum number of MAC addresses when the port will realize that uh, it is it is receiving or it is uh, learning more than that particular number the MAC address the port will stop working for example we can say to this port for example if we configure on this port that you are allowed to learn only only six MAC addresses and if you learn more than six MAC addresses or you are receiving the frames from more than six hosts then stop working so 
In this case, we can disable the port if this is going to cross that limit. So we have this feature as uh, uh, also in the switch port security. Now, how to configure this interesting feature in this uh, port? So we will do in this in the packet presser as well, but let's go through these commands briefly. So the first command is to configure the port. Of course, we need to go to that particular interface or to particular that port with this command. And then we need to, uh, we need to configure the mode of that port. So for that, we can configure either that port as an access or the trunk. And then we enable the port security using this command. So we have this command, we enable the port security. And then we have some optional statements by which we can actually further specify our conditions. For example, the first one here, it says that accept the frames only from this specific MAC address. So only allow the frames with this MAC address. Then we have second statement. Here we say that you learn the MAC address by yourself. It means dynamically learn the MAC address. So we are going to configure the port in such a way that it will dynamically learn the MAC address. And then we have a third option where we can actually uh, configure the maximum number of MAC addresses allowed on a particular port. So if you want to say, for example, we just discussed before that if we, we can configure the port to learn only maybe four MAC addresses, maybe five MAC addresses. If the ports realize that I am receiving uh, the uh, frames from more than six MAC addresses, then the port can stop working. So with this brief information, let's move to the back addresser for the demo. Now for demonstration, we have taken two computers here. So we have computer one and computer two and a switch. And for these two computers, I have configured the IP address there and I have taken the MAC address of this computer as well as the IP address for this computer too, as well as the MAC address. So you can configure the IP address, for example, by going this one and IP configuration. So you can configure the IP address and how to look at the MAC address of that computer. So you can go for that to command prompt and then you can use this IP config, IP config and maybe all and you will have the MAC address information of this computer here. So I have taken already this information for this PC as well as for this PC. But now I want to configure this switch, specifically the one port of this switch, for example, the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So maybe fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port of this switch, of this switch in such a way that it should only accept the connection or only accept the frames from this computer. So for that, let's go to this switch and then we go to privilege mode from this privilege mode we go to the global configuration mode and from global configuration mode we go to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 okay so we are in that interface and once we are there we have to uh, configure the mode of that so switch port mode access press enter and then we need to enable port security and for that we have command that is switch port, port security, press enter. So we enable port security there and then we give a command. We have to specify the MAC address for, for that. We have that send command, the switch port, port security and then let's get some help from the command line. So we have different options. One of the options is MAC address. So we can say MAC address and then we want to assign this specific MAC address so let's suppose I'm going to copy this MAC address from here and I'm pasting that MAC address over there so now with this command actually I'm going to configure this FA0 slash 1 port that it should only accept the frames from this PC having this MAC address but if there is traffic from some other PC having different MAC address, it should reject it. So let's press enter. So we have configured that port for that one. So let's suppose we have control Z and 
here out there okay so now it means this f0 slash one port has been configured to accept the frame from this pc only so now let's connect this pc so from this to f0 slash one and this pc to maybe f0 slash two okay so now let's ping from this pc to this pc so because we have connected this pc with the f01 fast ethernet port and this fa0 slash 2 fast ethernet port so it means they should work so let's suppose that we are going to give the command that is you can say ping 192.168.10.2 and you see we are getting the reply because we connected the right pc with the right port now let's change the situation so instead of for example connecting this pc to the right ports let's suppose that we are going to connect this pc which is basically in principle not allowed on fa0 slash one port but we are connecting that one this one to check the situation and this port may be with any other port maybe f 4 slash 2 okay so we just reverse the port so we connected this PC having different MAC address with this port. Now in principle, it should not work. So let's check the connectivity if it's working, if the port is allow allowing the traffic from that PC on that port. So we can just ping the same IP address and press enter. And you can see we are going to ping from this PC, which is on the FA02 port to this PC you can see this has turned into red it means now that fa01 port is not going to allow this pc to send any traffic or it's going to discard the frame there it means port security is working and if you want to check the port security on the switch as well so you can see this message has been generated and we can see that the state of that particular port changed to down and we can also say show port security command and this command will display us about the port security if if this has been configured on this switch so you can see we have this information as a result of this command that we have this port fa0 slash one and we have maximum secure addresses so these many addresses are there current addresses one and security violation so this also counts how many times the violation has occurred so one time violation has occurred and action that this port has been shut down so with this we can also see the port security of that particular interface as well so for that we can go to show port security and we can go to that particular interface for example in our case this is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so we are there and here you can also see that this says that port security is enabled so now this was the uh, first part of the sport security and in the next part we will discuss about the security violations. So I hope to see you in our next video. Thank you.